Hello learners, we will learn to use a WordPress website and creating a web based blog. Basically, that is a, called a blog. The address bar you can press in the WordPress.com website, wherein it will ask you to create a website. Later on, you can check out different plans. Also, if you'd like to go through some features, themes, and blog support, and other tools are available here on the website. So, creating on the website will ask you to uh, what kind of website or basically blog you want to create about. So, in the case of ours, uh, uh, we will select the education and organization, and uh, from here we can go for some college education or maybe general education and organization. Either of them can be used or uh, maybe special education or something as you are uh, liking to create. So I have uh, selected the college education and uh, out of these three different themes, you would like to select any one of them. So if you are intending to post uh, uh, more of the photographs, then you can select for this layout or maybe uh, with this sort of uh, layout we can go. Okay, so I go with this layout and then it will ask me to select some of the themes that are available under a particular layout and then uh, let me choose a easier one rather this one. So I, I just need to click over a particular page and then it will ask me what kind of domain uh, I want to create. So here I am going with uh, let us say Racer BBB. So in a way, it will show me an uh, address of the page that will be created. Uh, it is all for the free of cost. And as soon as I am going with the purchase of domains, it will ask me to upgrade through different plans uh, that are, of course, chargeable. But for this, it is all free of cost. So let us select this domain that I have uh, gone with. And different plans are option where I select the free one, where I will be, uh, get the basic uh, uh, support in here with most important 3 GB of storage space. Of course, as I am intending to create a web based uh, record book, uh, it is uh, an appropriate uh, storage. Uh, I think it is sufficient for all of us. So, as soon as I am selecting it, it will ask me to create a particular uh, email ID. So, in, in, in my case, uh, I, I am putting let us say racer bbb at the rate gmail.com and I'll have to select a password uh, that I can select and then creating an account. So it is uh, just verifying and uh, they will send an email uh, to email address that has been given and uh, we can continue from here. So as soon as that is here, uh, it will uh, some, some basic layout is created the speed I think is a little bit low uh, so let us see it is uploading so this is all basic layout that is in front of me with the racer BBB ID that I have logged in now I need to create a blog so I'll go to this my site tab wherein I'll see this menu uh, then here is the blog post I'll create an add button to it and as soon as it is uh, there I will be uh, taking out some text. Let us say I, I worked uh, uh, creating a blog Also, so I can put all the text that I am uh, intending to insert and then I also can uh, add some media. So for adding up media, I can add new or maybe directly via a URL that uh, some online storage is like uh, Flickr or something like that. It can be uh, fetched from those sort of platform. So I am creating new. So let me add one media file here. And as soon as it is uploaded, uh, we can see 
that this media is uploaded and I can edit here. Uh, I'll need to put some caption over it. Okay, so uh, that is done. I can uh, have an access directly to this image using this uh, uh, link and I can give some alternate text as well as description to the particular image if, uh, as the case may be requiring. So automatically some dimensions are given, some file type is there and upload date is also recorded. So I am inserting uh, this particular image uh, in the blog and we can see that the, the uh, caption is already there at the end of the blog. So as soon as I have entered this, I will move further. Uh, with that and simply what all I need is just to publish it but before publishing it will ask me to confirm uh, an e email that was received from the WordPress so I'll, I'll go here and confirm and as soon as I'm confirming uh, maybe it is possible that I have to recast that particular blog uh, so let me blog uh, uh, again, I'll have to do this. So simply, I will copy paste all this stuff from here, and uh, I'll close that window that was created over there. Okay, and entering the media file, it is already there. So I am inserting it, and thus it's gone, published. But by the now, I need to um, identify it with some category. So I'll add in some text here. So I'm I'm putting a uh, uh, with a tag which basically is a kind of folder uh, particular tag will uh, will allow the printing of the particular categorized block so I'll, I'll remove this on categorized and then creating block it is updated and uh, at the end of if I see the preview of this uh, blog of uh, that is recently created we can see that tag in here so more number of tags if you have assigned it will be appeared uh, on this line here on this particular layout of the web page so this is all uh, all points with the date and author who has written it uh, if, if uh, somebody gives some sort of comments on the blog it will be noted down here so this is a layout from the particular login that one can see and uh, we can also share uh, this particular blog using this different uh, short links uh, given in here so that is all uh, about the creating of a block and publishing it. So as soon as I have created it, I can modify it uh, n number of time. We can also use some uh, advanced level editing tools from here, like entering special characters or maybe uh, plain uh, pasting as a text or maybe change the color of the text from here, like this. And uh, if I would like to give some online link to some of the website I simply need to copy a particular link and then this word as I have selected I'll uh, need to enter it so I will enter this URL here if I'm intending it to open uh, in some new window I will click it or I don't and then add link so your word is uh, online and linked with the particular address that has been given and we can very easily modify that particular link by clicking on the uh, particular word entering on the pencil website and then uh, we, we may remove it later on as, as the case may be. So this is a very easy and most convenient way and of course on the Google Play also we can identify the WordPress uh, application uh, which you can directly download from your uh, Android based or maybe iPhone based uh, app store. <coughs> And then uh, you can very well, very easily, conveniently in your hands use the technology. And apart from that, there are different other applications also. An uh, popular one is the blogger.com from the Google, my blog, as well as blog away, uh, blogroid for Android. So sort of this uh, and tumble. So all these sort of uh, platforms can be used uh, as, as you are convenient with while using. And uh, uh, you can maintain all the records by day-to-day uh, -day, uh, works that you have been carrying out and at the end of the day what all you need is to just uh, uh, click on this particular uh, tag that you have assigned and in front of you will be a list like this uh, along with the date 
uh, you may insert some exceptions uh, in the uh, maybe in the slugs and write an excerpt which is a which is said to be a very short description about the block that you have created so i am using this uh, particular uh, statement i can enter the location of the block that i have uh, written uh, that that will require a gps tag uh, if you are using google maps integrated in your mobile phone then and using the or uh, publishing the block through a mobile phone then it is very easily uh, captured uh, using the allowing the location tracking through your mobile phone so if you are uh, if you want to allow the comments you click it or you don't and ping backs and track backs that are basically uh, some tools that will be helping you learning how the people are using your particular block so i have made certain modifications here so i'll need to update this uh, page and as soon as you'll see in here uh, i'll refresh this page and i can see the excerpt uh, and about that so uh, a point by point block record can be printed all i need is just to control p and as soon as i am putting a control p command i can have a uh, print out of this uh, web based log okay so enjoy creating the web based logging that is blogging uh, use it uh, 